All right, the video here on YouTube is a sample. The full carburetor rebuild video is over two hours long and can be purchased by clicking in the link in the upper right or in the video description. So this uh, video covers 69 to 76 carburetors, which are the round top, bottle top style carburetors for the CB750. I think 69 and 70 don't have a rack plate, but in any case, this video will cover those as well. Okay, so this video covers removal of the carbs off the bike, disassembly, um, cleaning and repair if needed, assembly, and then finally uh, installation, carb synchronization, tuning the air screws, and jetting considerations if you are going to do aftermarket exhaust or pods or whatever. So I'll load all that information in that video. Also, patrons will be getting videos for free. Uh, they are pledging a certain dollar amount and they get premium videos for free. So if you want to save a little bit of money, consider pledging on Patreon and you can get videos like this for free. All right, enjoy the sample. Let me know if you have any comments below. Make sure to check out other CB750 videos. I got a nine hour engine rebuild video, covers a whole engine rebuild. Um, and I'll also throw the playlist up there for all the videos in this series or on this bike. Okay, so let's disassemble these carbs here. Um, all these tubes here are overflows. Okay, so they attach to the bottom of the bowls and if the level, the fuel level ever gets too high, it'll drain down this tube and onto the ground, okay? Uh, these two are here. These are vent tubes. And there's little tubes that connect all four carbs. These just give an atmospheric vent to the top of the float bowls or to the fuel level inside here, okay? And then this one here and this one here are uh, fuel in. Loosen up easily. Oh, that one's loose, nice. All right, and cotter pin here. Okay, so there's a really small cotter pin in here. So go ahead and just get some needle nose pliers. Man, these pliers are terrible. Okay. Then what I like to do is this is a spring-loaded center punch, okay? And what we're gonna do is just apply pressure on one end. It looks like this end, this end is sticking out more, so um, it's probably better to push here. And what I like to do is there's this cap here on all these spring-loaded punches. If you back it off, the punch is less severe, okay? Because the last thing you wanna do is tap on this with a punch and a hammer and then break a post. That is not a good situation. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just put the center punch on the end of the pin and we will just give it a punch, see what happens. Okay, so it moved a little bit. That's good, we'll hit it with more. Okay, there we go little twist it's just snug doesn't it it's not going to the moon I see people over tighten the hell out of it and you don't need to do that okay next up is the jet needle holder and if you look this end fits in here okay and then this countersunk end goes down that's what faces the needle so this guy just drops in like so and 